Hello, welcome to the draw for the group stage of the inaugural Stay In to Toto Cup. It is one of the more iconic moments in the footballing calendar during this period of lockdown. And the idea for the Stay In to Toto Cup has come about extremely quickly and it is very simple to watch and be part of. It's a FIFA tournament, it's for professional footballers, which you will be able to watch online as the games are streamed via Twitch. The players involved are representing their clubs from both the UK and abroad. But crucially, the reason the tournament's happening is to raise money for NHS staff who do such sterling work and none more so than in the current climate, um, helping those who are suffering because of COVID-19. I will give you all the details of how you can donate before the draw begins. And of course, those all important call numbers as well. But let's meet the men who will be deciding the fate of the 64 sides involved. Uh, between them, these two have represented quite a few of the clubs that are taking part in the tournament. Our first guest began his footballing life at Manchester United. He's had a career that spanned the country from Southampton in the south to Sunderland in the north. And he's now a regular television pundit and newspaper columnist as well. Hello to you, Danny Higginbottom. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yourself? Keep him well? Good, yeah, give us a... Give us a quick insight into life in the Higginbottom household during this isolation period. Oh, it's Groundhog Day. You know, I think it's the, the biggest thing with it all is that, you know, do the right things. You know, people aren't asking, aren't asking much. And like you said about the NHS, you know, they're putting their lives on the line every day for us. So we just need to do as we're told. And, you know, thankfully we've been able to do that. You know, with the kids are obviously out of school. Every day is Groundhog Day. You know, not sleeping so much because you're just not... You're not mentally exhausting yourself, but like I say, you know, when it's 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 nothing really when you when you look at what the people are doing on the front line, and you know they are heroes putting their, putting their life on the line every single day, and you know they can't get enough gratitude from everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and joining Danny, a man who trades in goals as well as clubs, because I counted twenty on his Wikipedia page earlier. Uh, that's clubs, not goals, by the way. Uh, Jamie Puritan, good afternoon to you. Afternoon, you okay? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I love the fact that you've dressed up for the occasion as well. <laughs> well you've got full suit sort of, for me and Danny to share. The most important thing I'll be doing uh, while in lockdown, I'll be living in tracksuits and shorts. I thought I'd get dressed up for the occasion, look a bit smart. Yeah, and you, and, you, and you have gone full suit, haven't you? Just give us a quick stand up and give us a quick twirl. <laughs> uh, well, well, I haven't, but <laughs> get on the table. <laughs> You'll never I know. I've got for a full suit and shoes and stuff, but I've made a it's little bit. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never know. Um, chaps, do either of you play FIFA, by the way, before we get there? Uh, yeah, I play a little bit, but I'm very much button bashing. I'm useless at it. I get put to shame by by my kids. So, um, yeah, I'll um, I'll be respecting anybody that's playing. There's no doubt about that. What about you, Jamie? I used to play when, I was, when, I, when I was younger, I used to play quite a lot. Um, I was quite a gamer, but um, with kids and age and time, we sort of end up not playing as much. So. See, see, the thing is, Jamie, like when, when we were younger, you had the Sega Mega Drive or whatever it was, and there was like three buttons. Now, like, yeah, now it kills them everything. You have to pay, press about 15 different buttons, and I'm just like, just kick the ball along and see, see if you can run fast enough to get yeah, it. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated now, but yeah, <laughs> these, these boys are playing. Very yeah, that's all I was get all the fast players on your team, and you're not yeah. right. So. <laughs> The age-old tactic, eh? Uh, well, I think we've got you in the right position anyway to be drawing the numbers, perhaps, rather than actually representing one of your former clubs. Um, important to point out, the tournament's all about raising money for the NHS. Um, this is how you can do it. It's via Just Giving. The website is www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash stay in to Toto Cup. You can follow us on Twitter as well, uh, which is at FIFA, uh, Lockdown FIFA, at Lockdown FIFA, or by using the hashtag stay in to Toto Cup. So, uh, 64 teams in all. Those sides are going to be split into 16 groups consisting of four teams. So every side will play at least three group games. Uh, the teams and their corresponding numbers have all been randomly split between Danny and Jamie, so they've got 32 numbers each, and we will draw each group as a whole before moving on to the next group. So we'll do all of Group A, and then on to Group B, and do all of that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right, let's get the group stage draw for the State Intertoto Cup started. Uh, Danny, I will let you draw the very first side of this inaugural competition. Okay, right. I have number 23. And number 23, the first side drawn out going into Group A, is Grimsby Town. So Grimsby Town, the first side out of the hat. 
36. 36. And joining Grimsby in Group A is Morecambe. So two lead two sides alongside each other straight away in Group A. Danny? Okay, I have number, not that you can see it that well, number 25. <laughs> we'll trust you. Number 25 is Hearts. So there is a Scottish representative in Group A alongside Grimsby and Morecambe, Harry Cochran playing for Hearts. And we have 44. And 44 is Port Vale. So that completes Group A, Grimsby, Morecambe, Hearts, and Port Vale, uh, which Mitchell Clark will be playing for, uh, Port Vale. They are the four teams uh, in Group A. So uh, that seems to have worked reasonably well. So on to Group B we go. Danny, it is back to you. Right. Number 19. Uh, number 19 is the only French side in the competition, which is FC Lorient. Uh, Umut Buzok, their Turkish striker, uh, is playing for them. So FC Lorient are the opening side for Group B. 60. <laughs> and joining them uh, is a Dutch representative, Ve 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 Venlo. Uh, Torsten Kirschbaum, their German goalkeeper, uh, will be looking after the controller. Safe pair of hands. Uh, so they are alongside FC Lorient in Group B. And the third team, Danny? Right, let's have a look. I'll tell you what, Jamie's numbers are very professional. Man, you can't even see him. Number six. Well, he's, got the, he's got the suit. He's got the numbers. I know. I he's done wrong so far. He's starting to sweat. I didn't do it on golf balls as well. I, was, <laughs> I didn't have enough. <laughs> All over the neighbour's fence, yeah? Yeah. If you didn't get that, it was number 16. We did miss it, but we've got it now. So number 16, uh, Derby County. Uh, Jaden Vogel, one of... I think you'd say one of the most um, impressive youngsters yeah. in the EFL Championship. 19-year-old Jaden Vogel playing for Derby County. Uh, and the final team for Group B, Jamie? Number seven. Number seven is Bradford. So Group B looks like this. FC Lorion, Ve 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 Venlo, Derby County and Bradford City. On to Group C then, Danny. Right, we have... So. Number 55. 55 is Sunderland. Sunderland, the first team out in Group C. 22. Joining them will be Fulham. And two familiar names playing for Sunderland and Fulham. Jordan Willis for Sunderland and Cyrus Christie for Fulham. Okay. Next one, number 38. 38 is Newport County. Newport County alongside Sunderland and Fulham. It's a tough draw for them, depending on who comes out here too. 49. Very tough draw because it's Sheffield Wednesday. So that's going to be really tough for Newport County to try and get through that Group C. Sunderland, Fulham, Newport and Sheffield Wednesday. Group D then, Danny. Okay, here we go. Number 54. 54 is Stoke City. Stoke City. 28. And with them is James Madison's Leicester City. James Madison is uh, taking the controller for Leicester City, the England international. So Stoke and Leicester, the first two sides uh, in Group D. Danny, see if you pull out one of your other former clubs. Number 17. Number 17, ever play for Derry City? Mm, no. It wasn't on the list. Probably on Jamie's list, to be fair. But it is. No, I'm not, yeah, I'm not retired yet. So no. <laughs> is that a still time? Uh, Derry City and Adam Liddle. Uh, so Adam Liddle will be facing James Madison on FIFA. We know that much. And the final team... 30, 31. 31 is Livingston. So... A bit of everything there. Stoke, Leicester, Derry and Livingston are the quartet of teams in Group D. Right. Next one, we have number three. Number three is Barnsley. Barnsley, the first team out in Group E. 32. And joining Barnsley will be Luton. Two teams are having a bit of an ongoing 
battle at the moment down at the bottom of the championship. Uh, so Barnsley and Luton, the first two teams in Group B. I've got number two. And number two is Aston Villa, uh, who Jack Clark will be representing, one of their younger players, 19-year-old Jack Clark. So Barnsley, Luton and Aston Villa, three out of the four teams in Group B. And the final side? 18. 18, and that is Doncaster Rovers. So Barnsley, Luton, Aston Villa and Doncaster Rovers, the four teams in Group E. On to Group F, Danny. Right, we have number 30. 30 is Liverpool. So this is the probably the group that you would say you don't really want to be in now. Uh, I don't know how good Rian Brewster is, who is uh, representing uh, Liverpool, the on-loan Swansea striker. Uh, but he's got pretty good players at his disposal. Uh, so Liverpool, the first team in Group F. Who are the three sides that will be joining the current Premier League leaders? 34. 34. That is Mansfield. So Danny Rose will have to try and find a way past that razor-sharp Liverpool back line. But if anyone can do it, he can because he's a half-decent scorer. Got 12 goals for them already this season. Danny? Number 51. 51 is... Sligo Rovers. There is a interesting battle, shall we say, between mm. Liverpool and their uh, Irish opponents. Big day out at Anfield, though, isn't it? So huge, huge. Exactly. Number twelve. Number twelve. Coventry City. Uh, so Coventry City, winners of the nineteen eighty seven FA Cup. Uh, are in a group with Liverpool, Mansfield and Sligo Rovers. My old teammate Jody Jones is playing for a minute. He is. Somebody's yeah. been doing their research. He, he, yeah, he's me dagging an old teammate. So. I tell you, Danny, that's, 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 that's a hat-trick now of what happened to him. I only seen it, he posted it earlier and I just <laughs> happened to read it. So I, I wasn't I researching, it just come up. I apologise. The, the odds were he was going to have quite a few lads Playing here that were his former teammates. He's played for 60 clubs, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting good at this. I should be doing this properly for the. You're not 